Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. And um, we welcome y'all to our page. Yes. And uh, we, um, I say us. Uh, somebody said, don't say us so much. Well, that's just the way I am. So, um, there I go again. <laughs> we are making Mexican corn casserole this morning. And it's not... Um, it's not the same as a lot of the corn casseroles. It's, this one is a little bit different than what I normally cook, but it's just another way to do a corn casserole. Oh, that's, so it's a new way. For, we're uh, always looking for something yeah. different to cook. So yeah. this will be one of those good dishes. So I'm going to be using this chopper and chop up. This is right here is actually probably about a half of, of a onion. Uh, it's this chopper goes uh, chops it up so quick, and uh, <laughs> I know it's loud, y'all. And I did I actually chopped my onions before I went on camera, but I just had a little bit left, so I just and I don't need your butter. You wanted that melted, right? I did. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna chop up. And Linda, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna freeze this. Uh, and just put this in a bag and I'm going to freeze this because I've already chopped up what we're putting in our Okay, that'll be nice. You'll yeah. have it ready for next time. Linda, do you want to uh, You want me to do that? If you don't mind and then I'll, I'll continue to show them. Okay. I'm opening my cans. It's a can of cream style corn and a can of whole kernel corn and a can of rotel tomatoes. I've already opened these two. I take my little my uh can opener and do those, I call them little pinchers, and put it on the side of the lid and um, pull it up. And that's... Are you through with the bench scraper? I am, Linda, okay. thank you. And now I'm going to show you how I did this. I put the can opener, put the rim of it right against that. This goes on the out, this goes on the outside of the can. Put it like this. And you... And it latches on like that, and it'll it will um, release. What see it released, and that means I've gone all the way around. I do it the opposite direction. Then I put that little tweezer, that little pincher on there, and open it up. And that's a um, smooth edge can opener. All right, that's how you do that. And now. Um, the recipe on file says use a 9 by 13 inch pan, and, it, and on the recipe, it says um, to grease or, or spray your dish, but this one you don't spray. This is Pamper Chef, and this is stone, and they don't recommend you, you oiling or greasing it, so I'm not going to do that. So when you look at the recipe, if you're using a glass, casserole dish, you do need to oil your dish, and that's to keep it from sticking so much. So, it says, uh, sorry Mary, what can I do? Okay. I'm just going to pour it all in there, Linda. Okay. It says, um, to a cook, one cup of small macaroni, which I've already done, because I'm cutting down on the I'm cutting down on the time. time because it takes about an hour to bake this. So to cut down on the time, I did these for about five minutes. And that's and they're not completely done, but that will shorten the time in the oven. Did you cook them in this? I did not cook them in that. Okay. That is a Pampers Chef uh, rice cooker, isn't it? What is yeah. it called? No, it's, it's a microwave cooker. Yeah, you can okay. cook in it. Then I put a whole can of corn, water and all. That was funny. You can cook in it. <laughs> Aren't I smart? <laughs> Silly. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> and then a can of um, cream style corn. That smells so good. That fresh we corn. We love corn. Don't we, Linda? Yes, my Linda. favorite. Linda loves corn. My favorite vegetable, too. And then a can of Rotel tomatoes. The juice in this, the uh, uh, water in this, it help, helps cook the rest You're not of that. Rinse these out. I didn't no. take the ash. No, I'm not. I threw them in the garbage. Now, like I said, I had already chopped the onions. Put a uh, chopped the onions. 
and it calls for a velvet of cheese. Now, Linda, have you ever seen this in the store? I don't know if I have. I had one. never seen it to the other day. Did you get that recently? Yeah, I got it at Walmart. Hmm. It says Velveeta cheese sauce. Now, I know cheese sauce is not exactly the same thing as Velveeta. I know that. But I, because I had this, I wanted to use it. So um, I've already put it in here. It's almost, how, you know, the amount that I need for this. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it went in the dish. <laughs> so I'm adding a little cheddar just because this wasn't quite the, the amount, that package wasn't quite the amount that I need. That, that's good for just small amounts. It is. And, and I did not want to open a new box of Velveeta for just a small amount. So I just put a little extra. Good cheddar. to have them in your pantry. Yes. They have good dates on them. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one I think was over a year on it. So. If you'll put that in the sink for me, I appreciate it. Thank you, Linda. And uh, I'm gonna um, add a little bit of salt and pepper. I did salt my noodles when I cooked them the five minutes. Um, oh yes. Your butter. Your butter. This is melted butter. You got your oven on three feet. I got the oven preheated to um, these little prep bowls. Every time I use them, I just can't believe I. Never had them before. I know. They are so, so nice. One of my I'm favorite good. items. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, I'm going to put some salt in this. Thank you. Mary, those prep bowls are one thing that I have two sets of in my cabinet. Is that right? Do you? I really don't. I've got I've got some more. Um, um, I know the package, but I don't. My my reason, well, the biggest reason is because I don't have room in my cabinet. Well, I stack them in between each other. I've, I've usually got something in one of them in the refrigerator, yeah. so that's yeah. why. Yeah. I have two sets. Right. Are you through with this? I am through with that. Now, you see, all I've got, it, I've just dumped it all in the same bowl, and it's a lot less cleanup. And I just mix it all together. Get it all make, combined to do it. Now, do you put a topping on it or does it cook just uh, like no, that? No, it just cooks just like this. Okay. I'm going to, um, I cook it for um, 30 minutes without the foil on top. Okay. And then I'll take the foil off and cook it another 10 minutes. Now, if you was, um, if you didn't cook your macaroni ahead of time and you wanted to cook it all at one time, then you would cook it 30 minutes, take the foil off, and cook it 30 more minutes. But I shortened it 20 minutes by, by cooking these noodles a little bit ahead of time. Because okay. It's a pretty dish. It is pretty. I, and I guess that's where it gets the name Mexican is because of the color and the rotel in there. Yeah, that's real pretty. All righty. It smells good, too. All right. Thank you, Linda. I'll put it in the oven. So you put the foil on it the last 30 minutes? The last 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, it doesn't cook as fast with the oven on it, with the cover on right. it. Right. <laughs> so right. that's why we want to cook it fast. Go get me out the rag and I'm going to wipe this counter off. Then we're going to sit down. And... So we're going to, uh, we got a few things that we want to uh, right. go over, but we're going to take some questions and, um, and try to answer some questions for y'all too while we got this bacon. All right. We set the timer for 30 minutes and now we'll set down. So a lot of people um, um, have asked about the Christmas giveaway, the Christmas wish list giveaway that we did. So Mary, you yes. want to tell them about that? Um, we went over all of your entries and um, was very happy to get them. We had lots of nice, nice ones that came in, and we prayed about it, and we went through, and the first one that we <clears throat> selected, actually, uh, all we had was an email address to respond back to them, and we sent, uh, little Linda sent an email to them, and More we gave them, yeah, yeah, I think she sent an email three different times, and it was over like almost a week. We still had not heard back. From them, so we selected someone else, and um, we we did the same thing, but we only gave them two days, and we told them in the email 
that they had to respond back. So then we found one with the telephone number. So uh, if we ever do this again, we're going to, you're going to have to give us a, a, phone, a phone number with, with your entry. Right. One thing is because of the time is we were, we were running out of time. Yeah, we were. We wanted this to arrive before Christmas. Right. So we, that's, that was one reason we had the time constraints right. on it. But, but if, ahead, you, if you don't know what we're talking about, we, uh, we had asked our followers to, um, to send in an and yes. to submit uh, to us a family or someone that was, um, that was deserving of a nice uh, gift from Pampered Shelf. And so you sent your entries in, and, and we selected from that. And the lady that we selected, um, I guess we can tell because she sent us yes. back an email. It was Rebecca Sullivan in Wisconsin, and um, she had a, uh, she was, she is a, a single, single mom, single mom raising a child, and uh, we had gone through several hardships. We won't, we won't go into detail about it, but uh, we get, we sent them the package. It was a, a large package of Pampered yes. Chef, quite a few items, and she did send us back a picture of her sitting around the table with everything on it, and um, I think that she was deserving of the gift. Very and happy to so receive she, it. Yes, she was um, very happy. So we just want to let you know that we we did uh, send it to. And we also included the fifty dollar Walmart gift yes. card that Renee, one of our viewers, sent us. And I made sure in the Christmas card that I included in the package that I told her uh, where that was from. It was one from one of our sweet right, followers. Right and gave her the first name and the last uh, first initial of her last name. Right. So thank you, Renee, for um, for being a part of that. Right. And for everyone. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we appreciate that. All the entries. We, we enjoyed reading the letters, and we wish that we could have given more, you know, into more. But uh, we had done, done committed to giving all the things to one person. Yeah. We might split it up next time and give more, uh, maybe a, an item or something. Yeah. So. Anyway, we just want to let y'all know that. And you know what, Linda? We do have a lot of follower, new followers. We do. And so we would like to tell y'all a little bit about us and how we became what uh, on our Facebook. So you want to uh, start it out and tell them we're Pinky Mall Sisters in the Kitchen. So we are sisters. Yes. Um, I'm the gray-headed one. Mary is... Doesn't have gray hair. I, I do have gray hair. <laughs> if you Not bring that, uh, if you bring that camera in a little bit closer, you will see I do have some gray hair. Mary's the oldest. Um, we grew up very close. We uh, we have two brothers, and we have always been a very close family. So we do not live in the same town. We're fifty five miles apart. It takes between an hour and fifteen minutes and an hour and a half to get to each other's house. And that's because it's through little it's towns, and it's not like you're, you know, well, we have interstates here, but, but uh, the way we but, go, yeah, we it's go the back and, yeah. So, um, anyway, we when we film our programs like we're doing today, it's a pretty much all-day job. Yes. So, one, we do that three days a week. Yeah, one week, we'll go to Linda's house for two days, and then my house one day, and then the next week, you'll, she'll come to my house two days, and... I yes. go to hers and watch it, it up. It helps a, it helps a lot. So, so uh, we've baked all of our life. We've cooked all of our life. We started cooking when Mary was nine and I, I was eight. nine. That that I I was I might have done a few things before we'll then, but nine did. is when I really started cooking, started meals. cooking a lot. Yeah. Corn and and mama um, sewed for us. Um and the way we really got in the kitchen, we always have been around food and we grew up with aunts and our grandmothers that cooked and mama, but mama sewed. And when we wanted new dresses, uh, she would say, I'll make y'all dresses today if y'all get in the yep. kitchen and cook. And she that's how that. we started cooking. Yep. That's what so, we um, and we just, we have just always loved to cook. Mary's has cooked for so many people over her lifetime. Had, had events, uh, done stuff at her church and everything. And I've cooked a lot, too. Yes. Um, and um, and we baked. We yes. baked a lot. Yeah. And and uh, Linda, when she turned 70, she said, uh, Mary, you're going to think I'm crazy. But she And I said, I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> 
She said, but I want to start a business, a home bakery, cottage bakery. And we were both working full time we, yes. at the time. And uh, I said, well, that sounds great, Linda. I said, how are you going to do that and work? <laughs> but anyway, she did. And I did help her some. Yes. She did most of it. But we uh, baked. Um, we did a lot of weddings. Weddings. And weddings. Special, special cakes, birthdays. Showers, just yeah. any, basically what yeah. anybody would ask for. We locally, yeah, we had we had she had already been making birthday cakes and wedding cakes for the family yeah, already for, for decades. Yeah. yeah, anytime anyone had a wedding in the family, well, she did the cake. So she she already had some experience with it, and and uh, I helped her with the, I helped her with the flour right when the cakes yes. required a, a flour that they wanted flowers on it instead of the the uh, the homemade or right. whatever you would call the it, the edible, cake, flowers. edible flowers. Then I did the arrangements, but she did the uh, edible um, decorations and things. And Mary's mm -hmm. always been good, just like Mama, with anything to do with arts and crafts and, and baking too, but she's very good at putting flowers and arranging flowers and everything. I'm not. My talents, Well, you're getting good. My you're talents are good, limited to baking <laughs> and I love music, Yeah. Uh, which, you know, if you want to say I'm pretty much a has-been as far as that, but I still love to do it. Yeah, you, well, you still got a good voice. Uh, but, um, and what Linda named the her cottage bakery was Pinky Miles Cookies, Cakes, Cakes and Candy. Cakes, and that is and our webpage. Um, but how we got the name Pinky Mile is our grandparents. Uh, that's what we call them. Our maiden name is Pinkston, and us being the oldest grandchildren, our brother Charles was um, the oldest, and then I was next, and then Linda, and so we named, we couldn't say Pinkston, so Charles started saying Pinky Mall and Pinky Paul, and that's how, um, I don't know, did I do 30 seconds? <laughs> the stove was beeping. Um, so... Charles started calling our grandparents Pinky Maul and Pinky Paul. So they were known, uh, and to this day, yes. all of us cousins still call them Pinky Maul and, and Pinky Paul. And anybody that ever, ever knew, knew them, they called them Pinky, Pinky Maul and Pinky Paul. So that's how we, that's that's where the Pinky Maul comes from. And we grew up right next door to Pinky Maul and Pinky Paul, lived beside them all of our life, mm -hmm. uh, up until uh, right after Daddy died, we were almost grown. Um, but, uh, and then Mama's parents, Ma and Pa Lee, they lived on a farm in southern, um, Nacogdoches County, out below Sharina. And, um, uh, if some of you remember when, um, the, um, I can't remember, was it Challenger exploded? Was it Challenger? I don't the, space the space shuttle? The space shuttle. When it exploded, some of you may... Um, have seen the coverage on that several years ago. It exploded in Nacogdoches County. That's where mm -hmm. we're from, Nacogdoches. Mm -hmm. And um, so you might recognize the yeah. name by that. By Pinkston. Yeah. yeah. And also, SFA College, or U College when we were kids, it's university now. Uh, Stephen F. Austin University is in Nacogdoches. Nacogdoches is the oldest town in Texas. Mm -hmm. Ma and Paul Lee, Ma and her mama and her sisters, mm -hmm. And our grandmother's uh, Pinky Mall. Pinky Mall didn't really. She was a good cook, she's, but she's cooking so, was not her thing. No. She so Paul uh, Pinky Mall cook. Pinky yeah, Mall, Mall so cooked more than Pinky Mall did. Mm -hmm. But our great grandmother, the only one that we ever knew, Grandma Hooper, mm -hmm. which was Molly's mother, and her her daughters were excellent cooks and bakers. As a as a young kid, that's yes. one of my memories of going to Grandma Hooper's. A house was all the pies. Yes. She had a pie safe. She, she had did. a pie safe, and she had so many pies, and that's one of my memories of my grandma. They had an orchard that they actually grew their own oh, fruit. Really? So it was so fascinating as a child to go there, and um, it was a frame house. Never had any paint on it in I our childhood so that I know of. With big front porch had a big long front porch, front porch on Highway Seven in Aiken, Shelby County. And uh, they had a tornado uh, storm house um, out in front that we went in several yes, times. Yes, we were all I there. remember that. And um, uh, so we we grew up a very close family. Our cousins, aunts, uncles 
we saw most of them on a weekly basis. Yeah, we was very close with uh, we visited. They they believed in visiting back then. Yes. Nowadays, it seems like people are so busy with everything yeah. that they don't take the time to visit relatives. And and the kids today that grow up, and when I say kids, I don't mean just children, but um, it it makes you sad because they're not going to have what we have. Yeah, it, it makes the family closer if you, if you visit and, and stay to try to keep that bond. And like uh, last year, we had a Lee reunion. We hadn't had a Pinkston one in a while, but we had a Lee reunion last year, and uh, we had way over 100 there. We filmed some of it down there where we had it. And Christmas, usually always, some of our cousins. Yeah. And we had, I love it. We had several cousins. I love it when the cousins come. Or right. either come to right. eat dinner with us on Saturday. So we, they know they're welcome anytime. Yeah, they, they don't have to have a formal They invitation. always know that. Yeah. So we have, um, we, our roots are in East Texas. That's where we're from. And um, the love of cooking and a family sitting around a table eating. We never ate anywhere in our house growing up except at the table. table. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. our meals yeah. were eaten at the table. Right. And when uh, then you can tell them how we started doing the videos. Okay. Well, it's not, it was in uh, it was 2020. Two, almost two years ago. Yeah. In 2020, it was in, yeah. was yes, it, it was 2020, 2020 <laughs> in uh, July. It was in yes. July of, of 2020. Um, I just, uh, I don't know where it came from. I don't, I, all I know, I guess it had to be the Lord, Linda. That's, uh, you know, that it just kept impressing me to tell Linda, to ask Linda if we could start doing some video, cooking videos uh, so our grandkids will have some history of us right. and us cooking and reminiscing about our childhood and also to get our mother's story out. Mother had written a book. And so that, I guess maybe that urgency, uh, it was COVID. That's when COVID hit. Yeah. I remember COVID was going on. And I, and really in the back of my mind, I was thinking, because it was, everything was COVID. Everything was just scary, scary. I was thinking, I need to spend as much time with my sister as I could. And by us living that far apart, we didn't really see each other. Probably we talked two or three times every day. Maybe once a month. We probably didn't once see each other. Once or twice a month at and, the most. Yeah. And I said, I said, you know what? If we start these videos, <laughs> we'll get to see each other yeah. more often. And that's exactly what has turned out. To, it, what we and we to were be. both still working. And we were both still working. Time. And so I asked Linda about it, and she said no. She had too much. She just had too much to do. She just did not think that we could do it. Well, what it took me several months. Yeah, she kept asking me. But and by July, then we yeah, agreed. Yeah, it was before July, and uh, so in by July, she agreed that uh, we we would start doing some. We was so we did not know we what we were doing. We <laughs> and I said it was Pink and Miles sisters in the kitchen. We did not change anything about. We just started on Pink and Miles cakes, yes. cookies, and candy, and um, but uh, uh, anyway, so we uh, agreed. To start doing the filming, and that's how our videos has come. That's how we started our videos. Yeah. Do we have any questions yet, Linda? Um. Yes. Um. First one is there are several people asking about how to be a member and about your website. Okay. okay. Um. So our website. Um. We are very proud of our website. Yes, we had we this professionally designed. Little Linda maintains it with um, Carla as a, a, a also helps with it. Um, it is www.pinkymallskitchen.com. It's P-I-N-K-Y-M-A-S uh, kitchen.com. So when you go to it, you'll see the products that we have for sale, which are our pink aprons, white aprons, cups, cookbooks. By the way, we are sold out of cookbooks right now. We do have an order in and hope to have them. We hope to have them by the 1st of February. But we'll keep you posted on that. And the inventory does reflect that we're sold out. Yes. But that's the cookbooks. So if you want to become a membership, you go scroll down to membership. You click on that and there will be a, a pop-up that will for you to put your information in. And this is um, the reason we created this. It's a service to um, our friends and viewers that want to pay 
to get printable recipes and have special content from Mary and I. It's $5.99 a month plus any applicable taxes that are in your area. Um, you, it's, it's pretty user friendly. After once you join, there's an account button. You can manage your account. You can check on your orders, uh, whatever you do. But you, you do not have to pay to watch us on your video. The membership is for anyone that wants to uh, have access to our printable recipes. Yeah, and our, and our, our members get from 12 to 14 recipes a oh. month that's printable. And two, we've got some exclusive content on there, and we're going to be doing some more. So, you members, we, we're getting some more content on the page uh, next week. I believe in it next week sometime. We're going to put some more on there. And uh, our website, of course, has pictures of us. Right. And, but the, um, the membership gets a little bit more behind the scenes of, right. of and, what we do. Like I said, we, we had this created. We... Um, you know, it is a service that we're providing for a small fee. Right. So, right. Um, uh, but we had so many requests for the recipe, printer for recipes. When we were, uh, if y'all would go back to, if go back to the old videos, we actually gave the recipe. We actually gave it, but we still had so many requests for it. We didn't have time. We, so we actually felt like we were doing our friends and followers a favor by creating this and to create this yes. it cost us a lot of money that we're just elderly people that didn't have the money to pay for this so that's why the website is charging yes. it's, uh, so we hope you'll go take a look at it we are also on youtube all of our uh, videos are current on youtube and our youtube channel is pinky moss kitchen so, um, if you know someone that's not on Facebook that wants to watch us, tell them to go to YouTube. You right. can also watch them on YouTube right. also. And we're, we want to build our um, followers, subscribers on YouTube. So, you can watch the same thing that we're doing here today on YouTube. Now, what we do today will be uploaded to YouTube uh, tomorrow, Probably. maybe. It's usually done by the same day, the but same in the day? evening. Okay. So, um, if you... If you if you can't watch us live, go to YouTube and watch right. us because it'll be posted tonight. Um, and subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost yes. anything. So be sure to subscribe. And and also, if you can like our videos, that would be really nice right. too. If you can do that, sometimes I know it's easy to forget. Uh, the other thing we want to tell you that our Facebook page is a public page. All you have to do is like and follow. Um, if... Um, if you don't you have to see join something our page. that you have to join that has our picture on it that um, are showing our videos, uh, please do not join those groups. They're um, imposters. We have a lot of people out there that has taken our name, Pinky Mouse Cakes, Cookies, and Candy, and our page and put our videos on it. But it's okay if you go to our website, our PinkyMouseKitchen.com, and scroll all the way down to the bottom and click. On the little F cir little circle icon, uh, that would take you to the correct page. Yeah, the so. all the social media icons are down there. Yeah, the Facebook is blue with the F in it. Then there's Instagram, and then the play button for YouTube. So if you want to make sure you're on the right spot and you're not quite sure about Facebook, go to one of those. Uh, Mary and I both are Pamper Chef consultants. We both sell. Uh, we do not. Uh, mention it we can't a lot advertise on, this on this page, page yeah. but we do both have Facebook pages. So, um, if you need to know more information about that, you can contact us. <laughs> what? I was just laughing because we 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 can't say much about Pimper Chef on our page because this is our personal page. Yeah. So uh, okay. So uh, we have any more questions? questions? Um, have you always dressed alike? Well, we grew up dressing alike. When Mama made our clothes, she made them alike. She did. So we she always did. dressed alike. And I guess, you know, the, the saying is that you revert, well, sir, you, sir, you, you revert back to what you was when you was a kid. So we just one day decided we wanted to dress alike again because in, I guess, just remember some of uh, Reminiscing. Yeah. 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 So we just, uh, uh, we just dress alike. And two, we shop at mostly shop at dealers so you only have a choice of so much yeah. so we just that's where we uh, we so we decided to dress a lot 
Before we started dressing alike on camera, we actually bought the son the same thing we did. A lot of times didn't, we wouldn't even know it. No. Uh -huh. So we decided just go ahead and wear them uh, on the same day. Do we have any of our regular viewers on there that we could do a shout out to? Uh, Lynn Atwood, and she's answering a lot of people's questions, which is really helpful. Lynn yes. Atwood, yes. Um, we appreciate it so much, and I know there are several others. Jennifer Asker, mm -hmm. Joel, and, uh, Joel Jennings, Dennis. I don't know if he's on here now or not. And we. We, we're not meaning to leave no, anyone out. No. We love each one of you, but we really do appreciate everyone that um, is always so positive. And, you know, every once in a while we'll get people on there that'll complain, that'll say something. But um, we don't want to dwell on that. We want to dwell on everyone that is so kind and yes. all the nice comments. We feel and, the love. Yes, Y'all's we do. comments, it just, we, we know we're loved. And um, Irene Smith, Irena Smith, Irena Smith, yeah. thank you for commenting and helping uh, us with our questions. Because we can't, we go back after everything the video is put up, we go back and try to answer some of the questions if there's a question, but we don't always see all of them. So, no, and sometimes they come in so fast. I don't want to say waves, but sometimes we can see one group of comments. Mm -hmm. And then, have you noticed that? Mary? I sure have. And, and then a day later, you'll see comments that are like 18 happened. hours old or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So I don't know how that works, but we don't always get them as you put them on there. So, and we have Carla uh, monitoring uh, while we're doing our live. She always does that for us. So uh, shout out to Carla. That's Mary's yeah. oldest daughter. Yeah. Little Linda is her youngest daughter, and she's the one that does the filming and uh, helps us in so many other ways. Right, right. Um, any other questions? Uh, about the food that you cooked today, uh -huh. can you use hamburger or shredded chicken? You could. Have one whole casserole. Wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt a bit. That just you add could. some protein. Yeah, right? yeah. You could put some oh. Uh Let me think about it now. Um... No, I would put a little extra cheese in it if I was adding protein. Yeah, yeah. I would add a little more cheese and with your meat because it just uh, flavors it more. You could put, I mean, you know me. I I doctor up nearly every recipe I every recipe I cook. I doctored up. You could put some uh, red pepper flakes in it. You could put some garlic salt in it. I mean, you there's you make your own. Uh, we give you, especially when I cook, I give you the basics, and then you can add whatever you want. But you definitely could add. You cook your hamburger meat first, though, or your chicken. You don't put it in there raw if you're making this dish. Okay. You cook your chicken or your meat first. Um, if you're going to add it to this this casserole dish, smelling good. Yeah, it's it's going to be it. good. Yeah. So, what was the creamy stuff in the prep bowl that you put into? That the, was butter. That was melted butter. butter. Melted butter. Uh, so, uh, anyway, any other? Okay. All right. Oh, your hair. We've had several people ask about your hair. They want to see your hair routine. They want to know if your hair is long. Okay. Everything about it. What shampoo you use. All right, let's just take her hair down. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't taking well, on really <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, we, Linda, we did tell y'all yes, when we, we put did. up this website, it would be on the members page. I'm not putting my hair down for everybody, for the world to see, but we are going to do, we're going to shampoo our hair and roll it and then show you how we fix it. We're going to do that on the members page. Uh, we've got to, uh, oh goodness, I'm fixing to have that surgery. I don't know. It might be one. I don't know. I can't promise you, but I, I will promise you it's going to be soon. I use a collagen shampoo because my hair is so thin. It, my hair used to be thick. Both of my daughter's hairs were, hair was so thick when they were growing up. I would, it be, I mean, a rubber band. I couldn't even hardly get a big rubber band around it. And mine was that way yeah. when I was younger. But my hair is coming out. So, um, anyway, my hair, the longest part of my hair, because it's broke off a lot, is probably below my waist. But it's thin, so it doesn't, it's not thickness when I put it up. And yours probably is middle of your back, isn't it? It's it's close to my waist, but like Mary, when you, I don't know if it's got anything to do with age or not. I'm going to blame it on age. <laughs> uh, but when you're, when I first come home from traveling, my hair was really a lot longer than it is now. 
and uh, but when you're combing it out, and my hair is extremely fine. It's Hers was always not fine. like Mary's. My hair was straight as a board, always has been. The only way I get any body in mine is to roll it and. You, I use freezing hairspray on it. I, uh, you still use bobby pins, don't you? Yes. I roll all of my hair, top, sides, back, all on bobby pins. The old way. I've done it all my life. Yeah. Curlers, my hot life. sticks, uh, any of that. We have all of that. I guess you still it's do. It's burnt. I, I do. do. But it doesn't do my hair any anyway. Well, I use hot sticks very, very seldom. That's just an emergencies when my hair just just has to have some kind of body. But those uh, hot sticks will break your hair off. And I, that's yeah, probably part do. of the reason the mine is. Because when I worked all the time, I did use the hot sticks uh, you know, in between. When I shampoo my hair, I always roll it on bobby pins. Yeah. But then in between shampoos... Um, I would use the hot sticks. I'll tell y'all a couple of things that I do with mine. Um, I do, I fix mine in sections, um, which I guess that's probably I pretty normal I do too. to most people that yeah. has long hair. Yeah. Um, but I I have a comb with the, with the uh, it's not a rat tail comb, it's, but it's got like a pick on the end of yeah. it. And I do the top first. I spray it from behind. Do you do no, yours that way? No, I don't do that. Mm -mm. And I take the comb, and while it's while I'm spraying it, and I put the comb in like this, and I pick it up and spray it. That gives a little lift to it. I don't do and that. And then I do the sides. I do them the same way. I spray it from behind, and then roll it up, and then spray it again. And you could take the pick and kind of pull it out if it's because um, mine's usually always uneven. But, um, you know, one side's different from the other. But um, mine I'm, used to be a lot easier to fix than it is now. Because when my hair was thick, man, I could hide anything because it would just it would just yeah, hold the Mary, body. But I can't do it no anymore. Mary and Mama had beautiful, long, dark, thick hair. I mean, really thick. My hair has been paper thin. It's probably thicker now than it's ever been, but it's so fine that it's um, it's different. But yours is a beautiful a silver gray. <laughs> Her hair is beautiful. It Mama's was that way. Yeah, Mama's, Mama's had, had silver, really pretty hair. silver hair. Yeah. Tell about the time or when y'all used to put oatmeal boxes in your hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I ever put oatmeal boxes in my hair. I didn't put oatmeal boxes. Are they talking about when we did the real hives? Yeah, the beehives. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Beehives. We ratted it. Yeah. We ratted or teased, you know. And you could buy these, uh, um, or uh, it was, um, like a, what do you call it? Like a bun? Yeah, like a and, bun. And it's elastic. Well, you can break that elastic and, and stuff it full of cotton or, or something to make so it get big some height and too. give it high. Yeah. But the most thing, and we were looking at some old pictures this morning, and um, y'all probably noticed that one where my hair was really yeah. high. Yeah. Not standing at the cemetery. Um, we that was teased, teased. Yeah. The hair was we teased. teased. Yeah. We teased yeah. our hair a lot. I don't then. ever tease my hair now. I haven't teased my hair in well, years. Well, see, I do. I still tease my hair, but it I is. Um, I don't know if I I'd ever get the knots out of it if I. Did. Well, well, I'm telling you, I um, I use conditioner, and I'll tell you another thing that I've been told, and I kind of believe that conditioner also thins your hair. Well, I don't use conditioner. I do. I have used conditioner probably, I doubt that I've used it a, a handful of times in my life. Because if I did, I couldn't even get a bobby pin to stay in my hair. Well, the way, when I tease my hair, when I wash it, I flip it over and I let that water uh, shower. I can't take baths because I can't get out the tub. <laughs> <laughs> the shower, uh, I let that water run over it, and I just take it, and I just pull it apart. Those tangles, those okay. teeth, I pull it apart, and it just it just comes out. Do you, you want me to take that out? Uh, no, I can get it. Oh, well, let me see. Uh, you're going to put the foil on it, yeah. aren't you? Okay. Can it you put it on there without taking it out? Well, I'm going to try. It's still pretty. It's still pretty juicy. So do you think you want to cook it? Or no. the foil or no? Mm, it may take more than ten minutes. I'll just I'll just put it on there. Burn here, so I'm not gonna squeeze it down. 
um, like that. And we'll cook it in 10 more. Now, honestly, uh, because the, the real recipe um, calls to cook this another 30 minutes, I was trying to speed it up by cooking the macaroni a little ahead of time, but that may not work. <laughs> I'm trying to do this for air, but we're gonna we're gonna cook it another 10 or 15 minutes and and um, see. Because uh, the the point of it is um, for that uh, for it to to be a little thicker, right? And the noodles actually will make it. Uh, be together. The starch, yeah. Yeah. So, um, hopefully, it'll um, thicken up here in a few minutes. So gonna... Does anybody else ask any more questions? Um, not that I can remember. I'll. So it's something about the first of the year. I know we'll still have some cold weather, but it's like everything is new, and and it probably will be the middle of February people be planting flowers. Well, you know what? I was they just sitting there thinking, I'm honestly getting, I'm looking forward to the spring because it time goes by yes, so fast. It goes by so I really actually fast. start thinking about what I'm going to plant in the yard, some flowers and things. So uh, it will, it doesn't seem like we've had a winter. It seemed like it's already, it's been yet. I know. <laughs> but I we know. may we still have one. I don't want to plant nothing that's going to, then it die from the right. trees. So, but I am, um, I go for my pre-op this afternoon, and the Lord's given me peace about my surgery. I was worried about it there. I know I've had a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, a, I've had my bladder tied up before. I forgot what it's called. Uh, right, that's Tacked not up or whatever. Term. Yeah. I've had that done before, and I've had kidney stones before. So I know, I know what pain it is because that's one reason I didn't want to have it done because I <clears throat> but it's got to the point where I'm gonna have to and I was worried about it but I prayed about it prayed about it and I have peace I have peace I'm very it. glad you do I really do I have peace so whatever the outcome it's okay because I have peace about it so and um, we're gonna believe that's gonna be a good outcome yes yes I'm believing I'm believing the Lord's gonna and let me get back on my feet and be able to do the things that I want to do. Right. And we're going to have um, uh, Linda, little Linda or uh, Carla with, will be with me next week. Yes. Uh, while yes, you're out. Will. Yes. Yes. And whichever one's with me, the other one will be with Mary. I'm making sure she's okay. So, and then if all goes well, which we're certainly expecting and, and hoping for it too, then the next week, Mary will be back on camera, but she won't be cooking. She'll right. just be telling I us think what little to Linda, do. Yeah, I think little Linda's going to help you that, that yes. day. So, um, anyway, I'm, um, I'm, I appreciate all of your prayers. Don't forget to pray for me. I still, I'll still need your prayers. So, I appreciate it. And I know we've had lots of people sending their prayers and their love. Y'all don't worry about me. Just part, pray and, and know that everything's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah. Mary's a, Mary's a very tough person. What um, is Mary's body, Mama's was like that too. They can't handle very much medicine. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what I would take, Mary can't take. No. I, or the amount that I would take, Mary can't take. And you've been that way all your life. I've been that way all my life. So because I, I don't like medicine. I can't, Even as a kid, my mother couldn't hardly make me take medicine. So my system is different from people that take medicine all the time. And whenever I had surgery with Linda, uh, when I had the gallbladder uh, surgery, um, I told them, I said, don't over-medicate me because I was worried about me being pregnant with her. And so I said, don't give me too much medication because uh, I don't want it to hurt my baby. Another place, I want to wake up <laughs> because I didn't. That was the first surgery yeah. I'd ever had. And uh, they didn't give me too much to begin with because I woke up on the operating table. <laughs> but they, it didn't take them long. I heard exactly what they said. And, and they said, she's waking up. And more about that, then I was out. They pumped some more in me. But okay, that's okay. Uh, I can't take as much medicine, but... That's all right. I trust the Lord that I I won't have too much. Mother was when mother had yeah. that wreck. Remember, they, they, they gave they, Mama too much medicine. It took her days to get out of her it, system. Weeks and weeks. And and just to clarify, y'all, I take very little medicine. Yeah, I was just it. 
I was just saying, comparing right. to Mary, right. I, a medicine hasn't bothered me right. like it has right. you. Right. Well, I had my first two children at home with a midwife with no medication right. whatsoever with the midwife. And that was back whenever it wasn't so popular. Mm. But um, That was nuts. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. I, uh, Bobby, Bobby had a little something to say oh, about when Linda was Oh, hurt. yeah. That, that life's with little Linda. My <laughs> husband said, there's no way you're going to have this baby at home. So mm -hmm. I had her in the hospital. So, but, uh, anyway. Have some more? Um, where did you get your booties, Mary Lorraine? Oh. Oh. Oh, I bought them on the internet. I got Linda a pair, yes. too. Um, uh, they're not expensive. I don't uh, have mine on today, but I, they're waterproof. They're just they? waterproof, all-weather waterproof boots, and I got them on the um, on the internet. I can't uh, wait to wear mine. They're really they're comfortable. Except I will tell you, if you order them, you gotta order them a size bigger than what you wear because I didn't. And these are a little. They're not too too tight. It even said it says that on the website that these come small. Well, what size did you order them? I think yours is a six. Is it? I was gonna mm -hmm. say because they're not yeah. too big. Yours is a six. I, mean, two, I got two Linda pair too. Okay. Um, yours is a six. I didn't even look at the yeah. size. And so, um, if you order any, order a bigger size than what you wear because they come small, but they are comfortable and they're warm. Yeah, they're really they got warm. That, uh, that lining in. Weatherproof. Yeah. They got a good sole on them too. Yeah, waterproof. Any other questions? Did you name Little Linda after Linda? Well, I certainly did. <laughs> I named Little Linda after my sister Linda because Linda didn't have biological children and my husband mm -hmm. promised her if we ever had another little girl that we was naming her after her. And so we had another little girl. It, we didn't think we was going to have any more because it was what? Carter was 11 years old and Chuck was 8, I think 8. And uh, I had Little Linda, Bobby. Um, that was an, I guess she was a miracle child. Yeah. She was a miracle child. And I'm still blessing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we, and we yes, love little Linda. Little, little Linda is, um, has been a true blessing, you know, uh, so many ways to all of us. God She's always a, knows what you need. God knew what we needed, and we definitely needed her. We sure did. Carla, you know, she was our first, and, and she was always petted and loved and wanted and all that, but... Um, and of course, I had the, the, the little boy Chuck in the middle. God just—he just blessed me with good children, with good children. And uh, little Linda, she's kind of a life of the party. She's not serious-minded like little Carla and myself. She keeps she's a us life going. of the party. So, anyway. um, where do you like to shop for groceries? Kroger's and, and Walmart is where I shop. Berkshire's. Uh, Berkshire's is a. Uh, I, I, it's not local. I guess you would co consider it it's regional. Not, I think it's just it's maybe not local. even regional. Yeah. It's they're all over Texas, yeah. but that's what we have in our little town is the Berkshires. But um, Walmart, of course, has got you know the biggest selection in Kroger, and um, we don't have a lot of stores in East Texas like big areas have. Mm -hmm. We do have an Albertsons, but we mm -hmm. don't have Tom Thumb or. Some of the other uh, Trader Joe's or some of the other markets. So we do most small, of our shopping. There's a few little small mom and pop stores around. What is the name of that little store over there? Skinner's, Skinner's, Skinner's and um, Skinner's and Crump's and Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. So we have a few that that has meat markets in it that we visit sometimes. The most convenient is Walmart, Brookshire's, yeah. and Kroger's. So and we have to drive twelve and Sam's. To, twelve, yeah, That's twelve good. miles to even to get to to those. Because I live out in the country. But you don't have to drive that far to get no, to Berkshire's. No, it's... Uh, to Berkshire's in town, it's four miles. But to go to Walmart, it's it's probably 12... Yeah, for you, 14 yeah. 14 miles Marshall. to Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we enjoy going. Any other questions? Um, what do you um, think about the best buy dates on products? Like canned goods and milk when and... When they expire? Yeah. What do y'all think about that? Uh, well, which ones is best that has the longest lifespan? Is it what you're saying? What they're saying? The I, or if we would use something out of date. I think that's what they're asking. Okay. So I'm going to say it's going to depend on the right. item. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, if it's something refrigerated, absolutely, I will not use yeah. it if it's out of date. Right. Um, and Ken I stuff. I mean, we yeah we. There's really more than a year's lifespan. Usually it is. Yeah, but I don't. I don't usually buy anything that's out, that that's far in the best. I try to rotate it. You and rotate. Use it. You shouldn't yeah. worry about that year. unless you bought something at like a salvage store and it has a shorter uh, right. uh, shelf date on it or something. But um, if if the can is puffed or dented or something in any way, you need to throw yes. it out. Yes. Um, uh, syrups and uh, things like that. Uh, I'll tell you something that will go dark is canned milk. If it's out of date. Oh, yeah, and condensed milk. Or condensed milk yes. will go yes. dark yes. if it's out of date. Um, if you have something like staples, like um, you keep bread flour and you don't use it that often, you need to store it in the freezer. Yes. Because it will get a stale old. The same thing old. with nuts. Yes. Uh, to keep nuts fresh, you need to store in the freezer. Right. Uh, I know that um, it's been a few years ago. Uh, I, of course, you know, I did interviews in people's homes. It was a Medicare interview, uh, project. And there was this particular lady that um, she was a grandmother and she was helping raise her kids her grandkids and um, she just touched my heart so much because they had very little and uh, she even mentioned um, about uh, one of the kids that asked for a banana or something and she told him that he could have it and she told me she says I love fruit but she says I very seldom ever get any because I have to think of my grandkids yes, well yes. the next time I went for that interview I carried her a bunch of fruit and I told her this is for you you have this plenty you can have your fruit and then the next time I went to see her I had asked her that visit I said I have some canned stuff that is about to expire and I said, I think that it, I didn't give her nothing that would work, but uh, they wasn't expired, but they were soon to. I said, would you be offended if I brought it to you? Because I won't be able to use it before uh, it goes, before it expires. I carried her two huge boxes of canned stuff, and you would have thought it was Christmas. I had them in my trunk, and she went out there, and all of her grandkids came out there and got them. She was so thankful for that. But so, if you've got some things that's about to expire or something, we'll find them. Take them to a take food pantry to or someone that can use them, so that they won't go bad. That that's going to be cooking large yes, amounts yes. that can that can use them all. Yes, um, I still think of that lady sometimes. I even thought about it because I've got so many cans of. I'm thinking, I wonder if if she would like to just might just drive up one day and give her some more canned stuff. It sounds like something that Mama would do um, or would have done yeah. in her life. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, Mike is like that. You just uh, think of course, that. you know, I, I mean, I give too, but I think about um, Mike because he was in times in his life where there wasn't a food of plenty and uh, you know, I, we've always been. We thought we. You know what? That goes back to our parents. Yeah. We. we they. To, yeah. They didn't. They didn't tell us to do this. They did it. So that taught that showed yeah. us to follow in their footsteps and do. So it's you know, you as parents, what you do reflects on what your kids do. Yeah. So that keep in mind, it's not just words that you t tell your kids; it's what you do that yes. they see you do, and so that's what that ha that has a lot of uh, reflection on how the world is today. Is is what they've seen their parents do, and they follow in their footsteps. And so. and Mama, after Daddy died, we we've mentioned this. I know at least once, maybe twice, when we didn't, we had bare minimum. We never went hungry. But we didn't have what we were accustomed to when Daddy before Daddy got on disability. And if there was that. somebody that Mama knew that needed something, like the night that we lost power, and this was really a cold night, and the line people had been working, she didn't have a lot. No, I remember. But I she remember made that. hot cocoa, and did. we took it out there to, to those them. line I remember. I remember that. I'm and sure. they left the cups with a note in it about how much they appreciated mm -hmm. that. And 
Mama didn't have an extra, but she gave that. Yes. That made a yeah. big impression yes. on me. Yes. We were big kids. I mean, yeah. it was after Daddy died. But. Yeah. So. Well, I guess I'll check the boat. Yep. Our, my clocks are going off. That's the signal. <laughs> oh, and Mary, people have asked about those clocks, too. I know. And I, um, Mary, um, she bought several of them, but she bought. I bought them um, at Sam's, and you could only get them around Christmas time, right, Mary? Yep, just she around bought Christmas us one. Time. So they came from Sam's. Now you may can get them from somewhere besides Sam's, but that's where that's where I came from. Do I need a pot holder over here for you? Well, that would be good. And I'm I'm thinking that it probably is done. It's gonna it's gonna um, pick it up, like you said. Yeah. I got set to yeah, it'll lot. pick it up. That looks really nice, Mary. And um, I'm going to spoon it and see, because like I said, I did this different from what you normally do, because I was trying to speed up the time. It's going to thicken up whenever it stops bubbling. I'm going to stir it up. The noodles is done, and it's done. But I, I tell you what I would do, um, let it set for a while. Well, that... And also, um, if you're doing this and you and you speed it, sped it up the way I did the canoodles early, I think I'd drain that corn. Okay, I that would, would take some drain of the juice that corn, corn, the whole kernel corn, drain that off, and that wouldn't be juice, and it would um, it wouldn't be a sick. But it is going to thicken yeah, up. And it you is, don't want it to be dry. Yeah, it's definitely so, going to thicken yeah, up. Yeah, it will thicken up. I'll um, put a little bit in this bowl, and we'll we'll taste it and tell you whether or not that it. I'll let you taste it, Linda. It's hot. <laughs> I know. Too hot. hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, I'm going to taste it too. Because like I said, I did this different from what... Um, it's it's delicious, Mary. Got a good flavor? Very good. You can take the, taste the corn and um, your seasonings, the uh, rotel in it. It's really good. It is good. And cooking the noodles ahead of time does shorten the time. Yeah. And it would thicken. It's, the flavor is really good. I really don't, good. I, I like a little juice in mine. I would. I don't think you I'd would. drain the corn. Is that right? Because I think okay. it's going to thicken up in mm -hmm. probably 30 minutes. It's probably going to thicken up yeah. really good. Anyway, it tastes like corn. It's delicious. But it's very good. It's, very good. it's different, the too. I would have never thought to put macaroni yeah. in it. Yeah. It's, it's different. real good. All right. Well, Do we have any last questions before we go? No. Well, we thank y'all. Appreciate y'all hanging with us and, and listening to us reminisce and, and talk to our new followers. And we just uh, want y'all to have a blessed weekend. And I guess you won't see me again. Uh, for, for, for about a week. For about a week, except there will be a few things on the members page right. uh, of my progress. And um, and, and little Linda will keep y'all posted. Yeah, we'll keep y'all posted. We love y'all, and don't forget to count your blessings. The Lord is good to us. You can always find something to thank you Yes, for. you can. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and well, and we love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.